We are continuing to track Santa and he is now located over the Atlantic Ocean and as he moves south, he has really picked up the pace, moving over 3,000 miles per hour. Just for reference, uh, Usain Bolt, the fastest runner, uh, can only reach a top speed of around 27 miles per hour. So try 3,000 miles per hour and he is over the ocean right now. We have a picture sent in from a sailor aboard the USS Kringle and you can see that little red dot off in the distance. He spotted Rudolph as he is moving south towards South America. Will be interesting to see if he makes it to South America by the end of the newscast. Now we did have a treat here across Southeast Nebraska, sort of the treat before Santa delivers his treats later tonight. Uh, we were very warm. Grand Island made it up to 64 degrees this afternoon, shattering a record of 62 degrees set back in 1917. So that's a long standing record. We have an even uh, longer record uh, for Lincoln. Uh, 62 degrees is our record high and that was set back in 1889. We made it up to 65 degrees. So uh, needless to say, this is un seasonably warm. Uh, we are expected to drop in terms of temperatures over the next several days, but still very mild. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a couple of seconds. Here's a live look over our Ella communications camera dry at this hour, but it's possible that we may see a brief shower in the hours to come. One that Santa might have to dodge. We did have lots of sunshine this afternoon and cloud cover has now arrived back in the area yet again, and there is more off towards the west. You can see some of these green returns in the southwest corner of the state and even in northeast Colorado. Colorado, those will move off towards the east, so let's track that with Stormcast. At least for the time being, we are dry, not seeing any rain, and the cloud cover will continue to stick with us over the next several hours. But by 9 o'clock, we start to see some of these green returns in the southern tier of counties uh, around 9 o'clock south of Grand Island, Hastings, and Kearney, pushing off towards the east in southeast Nebraska, closer to 10, perhaps 11 o'clock, maybe close to the time that Santa's arriving. But I only think these are going to be isolated showers. I don't think everyone's going to see them, so Santa we'll have a decent opportunity to dodge these showers tonight, but keeping things cloudy for uh, much of the evening hours. Nevertheless, Stormcast uh, precipitation potential not very optimistic for even those who do see this rain. Uh, only looking at a couple hundred seven inch uh, elsewhere, uh, just bone dry. Let's pick up Stormcast 11 o'clock Friday into the overnight hours. Those clouds scoot on out of here. We're waking up on Christmas Day to mostly clear skies. Now there is an upper level wave moving through in the northern part of the state. Could throw some clouds out that way, maybe partly cloudy skies, but uh, it looks like we're going to be mostly clear overall for Christmas Day in, uh, in the southern part of the state, uh, looking like a very nice forecast for Christmas Day. For tonight, 27 degrees, maybe an isolated evening shower. Bets are you're probably not going to see it. Clearing in the overnight hours. We're looking at mostly sunny conditions in Lincoln for Christmas Day. High temperatures not reaching the 60s, uh, about 10 degrees cooler tomorrow afternoon, reaching about a high temperature of 55 degrees in Lincoln. A southwest wind 5 to 10 miles per hour with an occasional gust up to 15 miles per hour. Now let's look at our temperature outlook. This is the 6 to 10 day outlook. So this is the latter half of our 10 day outlook. You'll see most of the heat is contained in the southern portion of the country with a little more blues in the central and western parts of the country. Uh, it looks like we're going to return to around uh, near normal conditions for the latter portion of the 10 day outlook as we'll see right now. Uh, keep in mind normal conditions are highs in the 30s and low temperatures in the teens. So uh, enjoy the temperatures over the next couple of days because we have 50s in store through Sunday but back into the 40s on Monday. Breezy 40 degrees on Tuesday, partly cloudy skies. Watching a disturbance that may try to uh, develop some precipitation off to our east will be interesting to see if we have to tweak that forecast to allow that rain to shift a little bit farther west. But as you look at the middle part of next week, 27 degrees on Wednesday, uh, we're starting to cool off by midweek.